How's it going, guys? I'm Bryce. This is CRKT Booth, and we're here, Blade Show 2022. And I got some new stuff to show you from our 2023 preview. First up, from one of all of our favorite designers, Mr. Ken Onion. This is the home front. We released the home front a couple years back with the field strip technology, which is really cool. We've actually evolved that to our second version. So we wanted to bring the knife back out in just an assisted model. So overall, uh, just a really good EDC, big belly blade that's kind of uh, reminiscent of other work that Ken Onion's done. He's always about maximizing the amount of cutting edge that you get. Really good, slight fuller there. Working our way back, we have a little star on there. We really asked Ken to make like a tactical knife and he didn't want to do a modern tactical knife. So he went with more of a World War I, World War II theme. Got a little bayonet lug flipper, got the star. These look kind of like tank tracks and the color has got a really good kind of olive drab. Kind of reminds you of a Sherman tank back in the 1940s or something. But really excited, it's assisted. It's got Kenon's assist. Really good snappy opener. That's the home front. Next up, we'll be talking uh, about Jeff Park. Jeff Park works with Ken. He works in his shop. He's been kind of learning the tricks of the trade from Ken. I mean, who better to learn from than Ken Onion Man himself? This is the stickler. It's actually designed after a produce knife. You can see the long, thin blade. It's made of 12C, 27 Sandvik steel, so it's going to take a really fine edge, be a little bit more stain resistant than others. All aluminum handle on here, also assisted with Ken Onion's assisted opening mechanism. A cool little piece of Ken Onion trivia here. If you look back on the back spacer, you can see we actually milled it out. And that's to get those little extra millimeters of blade in there. Again, Ken about maximizing uh, blade to handle ratio. Um, it's a really cool piece and cool to see the crossover uh, from Ken Onion to Jeff Park. So really cool, little great knife for breaking down apples. I'm a really cool little knife from uh, Jeff Park. Next up, I gotta go to my kit here. Where'd it go, where'd it go? It's in there. Next up, another Hawaiian native. This is the Mike Bond Campano. So this is a design, Mike really got the idea of seeing people carry their keychains on their belt loops and just using kind of regular carabiners, which isn't really ideal for that purpose. So by adding a blade, not only are we adding a little bit more utility to your carabiner, we've also made some features that really kind of accentuate that function. Adding these little wings to the carabiner gate really make it easy to find the belt loop and get it on there. Uh, you can have your keys hanging off and uh, you get the added function of the blade. So really cool design. Check out TI2 Designs. That's where Mike Bond does a lot of his work, cool pens and money clips and cool stuff like this. So definitely check him out. This is from Lucas Burnley. This is the Butte. So at CRKT, what we like to do is come up with new technologies like our deadbolt lock and allow other CRKT designers to use them. So Flavio Icoma came up with a deadbolt lock and then um, Lucas Burnley got to work with that and kind of design a knife around it. So the deadbolt is strong, simple and safe. It's one of the strongest locks in the market and it's also very convenient. Keeps your fingers out of the way while you're closing it. And uh, so Luke is really trying to make a very heavy use knife. And this is designed after a traditional kind of American fixed blade. You've got D2 steel up here on the blade. So it's a really tough steel. You've got heavy G10. So you get a really good grip with the, bit, the bulkier handle. So it's gonna be better for long-term use. Just a really cool piece overall, a really hard functioning working knife. And um, it's always exciting to have something else from Lucas Burnley. I'm featuring a Ken Onion Assist, a Flavio Icoma Deadbolt, and a Flavio Icoma IKBS ball bearing system. So really cool. That's the Butte. We'll stick on Deadbolt and go back to Flavio, Flavio Icoma. This is the Attaboy. A little bit smaller, probably the smallest knife that we featured the Deadbolt on yet. So that's really exciting. Um, a small blade with a great little front finger choil so you get great control over the blade. Good jimping in multiple positions for your thumb. D2 steel here again, so it'll take a beating. You got your deadbolt lock here. On the back, you can kind of see where the pins go in. And when this is set, there's a couple pins that set themselves in the blade. You have to shear those off to get it to fail. And in our experience, you'll probably break your blade before you do that. Good deep carry clip, really lightweight handle with a glass reinforced nylon. And a cool little tiny micro flipper. And we were able to do this micro flipper because of the deadbolt lock. It doesn't have a stop pin. So we could get this little flipper that would have normally come into contact with that stop pin. But something kind of a fun use of the deadbolt, opening up new options for us. This assisted opener is the Oxcart, designed by Robert Carter. 
really captured Robert's design. Big, chunky, heavy use folders. And so, and that's got this in spades. Really thick stock along here across the top of the blade. We put a really heavy hollow grind on there so it really thins out the blade towards the cutting edge. Further back, it's a really stout frame lock. Really simple, good pocket clip on there. Opens well with a thumb stud or a flipper. Just a really cool, thick, heavy tank of a knife. And the name matches that, Ox Cart. I think it's very appropriate. So, excited, new Robert Carter. Next one everybody should be familiar with. This is from the Minimalist series. One of our classic neck knives, probably the neck knife on the market. Um, Alan Foltz design, uh, the deep finger choils are extremely ergonomic. That's always a story throughout the Minimalist line. And we changed the blade shapes out. This is a spear point with a slight fuller. This is actually based on his X2. And so the steel is actually twice as thick as the normal models. Minimalist fans will know that right off the bat. So we really made a really thicker, harder working minimalist for people who need uh, that extra stout, stoutness in their spine. So a really cool piece, again, from Alan Foltz. Another great addition to the minimalist line. Final thing I have to show you is from James Williams, one of my faves. This is the Skeg Ox. So James, we've always worked with him building kind of Japanese style design swords, essentially. He takes classic designs and makes them out of modern materials. And this time we went with a little bit more of a Scandinavian flair. It's a heavy bearded ax, um, SK5 steel, really tough stuff. The handle's got this nice little loop on the bottom, just really wants to swing and move. It's a, it's a self-defense ax through and through. You could do some light feather sticking or some woodworking on there, but the edge is really ground just like a knife blade. So it's not uh, convex. So it's just really slicing and sharp. Um, comes with a really simple sheath that you can wear on your hip, attach it to your rucksack, however you like to carry your ax, but just a really cool swing, swinging ax from uh, James Williams. So always excited to have a new James Williams in the line and the Skeg Ox is really cool. That's all I got for you. Perfect, man. Appreciate you guys listening to me drone on for a while. And uh, check us out, CRKT.com. <laughs>